Lou and Mark, what a frightening situation. And the word we kept hearing from firefighters was just how brave this mom was and how lucky she and her two children are that they walked away from this with just minor injuries. You're a hero. Thank you. I'm not a hero. I'm just a mom. Carla Langley is still processing what happened overnight at her Ladera Heights home. She woke up around 1 a.m. to what she thought was an earthquake. So I pulled the mini blind back and then that's when I saw like an inferno of smoke. And I was like, wow! That inferno, which the LA County Fire Department believes started in the apartment below, was rapidly spreading. So Carla immediately woke up her eight-year-old twins, Hunter and Alexandria, and searched for exits with no luck. Then I just start punching that window. I rip the screen open and then I grabbed my um, comforter and I threw it over that window. She's shocked by what happened next. I saw people outside and I was like, help, my babies, my babies, help. Nobody came. They're all standing there. No one came. Immediately, I just grabbed my daughter and I leaned as far as I could and I let her go. And she fell on her stomach and then I grabbed Hunter and I did the same thing. The twins survived the steep fall with only minor abrasions. Carla's cuts were deeper and required 14 stitches in her left hand. The paramedics who treated them say it's a miracle they all weren't hurt worse and credit mom for her quick and smart thinking, even though Carla says she did what any mom would do. I can't imagine dying in smoke and not doing anything about it. I was like, I'm not going out like this. I will do anything for my family, and I did. The cause of the fire is under investigation, but at this point, uh, there's no suspect of foul play. Uh, the kids, they are shaken up. We're told that they were most upset that their turtle Mikey did not make it. Uh, Carla and her kids are staying with family for now, but this house is a total loss. They've lost all their belongings, so a GoFundMe page has been set up for them, and we have a link to that on our website, ktla.com. Reporting live in Ladera Heights, I'm Courtney Friel, KTLA 5 News.